I'm here with Dan Martin at Rustic Canyon Driving Range and the Dan Martin Golf School. Uh, we just heard from Dan in this week's podcast number 752 about Rustic Canyon, but we also heard about the pro and we're really lucky to have Dan here with us right now and he's going to show me how to use the pro to get a better groove in my swing. Well, Welcome, Dan. Good to see you. Likewise, likewise. Uh, Good to, like, glad we we are so, so totally di socially distanced yep. that we're shooting both of these from my phone. Yep, this is a unique experience. <laughs> it's kind of like a Zoom with a camera in the middle. Exactly. <laughs> but we're also live at the same time. So thanks for the introduction. Uh, this is the Pro. Uh, very, very simple device. Um, and there's multiple uses for this um, with without the grip and with the grip. So oftentimes I have people take the grip off. But i um, just going to start with the, the basics of it um, or the kind of ultimate intention is to be able to swing this without it forming any angle between the grip and the rope. And what plagues, I'm going to go with 99% of golfers, is that their relationship with the golf club is such that they're always trying to propel the mass or they're trying to control the weight of the club head or the club face, which creates distortions in a swing. And so the pro is a way of detecting things that are often unseen and unfelt um, by, by making the, uh, the components align in the swing. So here's a quick demonstration. If I'm very, not very good at this, or generally when people learn this, the first thing they'll do is they'll start to bend the grip and the rope here. They're gonna try to apply like a torque or a, or a leverage force to the club. And so it, it, doesn't, it doesn't stay straight for the whole thing. So these would be very bad swings. Players that are very wristy tend to bend it a lot and try to use their hands a lot. Mm. So as you learn to tame your hands and you learn the process here, you learn how to swing this. So you're transmitting velocity from each body segment, from the hips to the thorax, to the arms, to the pro. And we know it's not distorted if it's staying in line. So uh, what seems, what I'm probably making look very easy there is actually uh, takes quite a bit of skill to, to get through your brain to understand how that all works. But the value in doing that is, first of all, you start to eliminate casting, and mm -hmm. a lot of the a lot of the power leaks in, in golfers come from casting force. In fact, I'd say that's probably the number one thing that happens. And casting can show up early, it can show up down late, it can show up anywhere. But anytime you try to maneuver the club head's weight through the uh, uh, or through the shaft, you end up you end up distorting the swing. So as you learn how to keep these straight, you start to eliminate casting forces. Now, I'll take it from a down the line view. As I learn to line these up, something wonderful happens, is that the direction of the golf swing also starts to correct itself. Mm -hmm. So players that tend to again go over or way too under, as you learn the sequencing of swinging the pro, you start to develop a very natural swing path. Not an under, where you're hitting like a push draw, not an over where you're hitting a, where you're hitting a big slice, but a nice neutral swing path that delivers a very straight, straight golf shot. All right. Let's let's meet in the middle here. Hand it to me. <laughs> All right, here you go. <laughs> and now I have it. All right. All right. So, so for, first thing I'll say is don't hold it hold it as lightly as you can. Right. Okay, so just in your fingertips, I want the grip to wobble. It's super sensitive because you can tell how light it is. Yeah. So it immediately is going to go, whoa, surprise. this is not it's what really I probably light. expected. I probably not expected. At all. I expected more weight out of yeah. the uh, base here. And so yeah, so you need to you need to get it going. So there you go. So you got to make a big full turn to start. So and one thing you gotta get used to, it's okay for your arms to bend a little bit on the top of your swing. So we wanna get the pro all the way on your back and then before you come through. And so what I'm, what I'm learning about your swing right out of the get-go get, uh, get -go is you have a pretty strong pressure against the grip because I see a massive angle forming right through here. Right through? Yep. Right through there, yep. Mm -hmm. Right here, so. Yep. So, so what, I, what I need to do, let me grab a, I'm gonna go out of the shot and grab a, sure, grab a, grab, sure. grab a, grab a, a pro so I can demo while we're doing this since we're doing this kind of remote remote learning wise so your swing motion's good there you go the trick here is that right here you're not recognizing that's happening no so and now part of learning this is that i have to i have to discipline myself to the point where i need to relax my hands and almost let it fall out of my hands because uh -huh. i want to i want to start to feel what does the swing or the, what does the golf club actually want as it picks up energy from my arms it wants to lag and it wants then it wants to swing when the arms start to slow down. So anytime you're gripping that really tight, you're actually interfering with that force. Uh huh. And so to learn, we wanted to be able. We need to stop looking at the ground, and we need to start looking back here, so we can start to learn how to do this. Now, generally, I recommend people learn the pro without the grip first, so you learn the swinging the swinging sensations. But when I get to the top, I need to feel like 
when I come from the top of the swing, I'm gonna drop my, I wanna feel like I'm rotating my arms with my wrist staying as limp as possible. If a golf club is gonna swing, your hands swing at the exact same rate of, rate of pace or they swing proportional to the club. If you're maneuvering the hands, your hands aren't doing something that's proportional to the club head, which means you have a distorted swing. Rigidity hides that and our muscles can kind of compensate for that. So the rhythm goes back is I almost want you to lay the grip down on your back a little bit more. There you go, good. And then as you come around, my wrists are as limp as possible. So it feels like my arms shoot away from me a little more. So that's kind of pulling down on it. So we got some work to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're here. Yep. So to learn, you can't look down. The error isn't gonna be felt, it's gonna be seen. So if you can, yeah, so when, I, so when I get to the top here, I wanna watch this first movement down. I'm not looking down here where, where it's gonna go. I don't even care. I wanna see what's happening off the top of the swing. Better. Good, now let the grip fall all the way down your back. There, now that's gonna be your starting point to learn how to actually sequence a swing, okay? But it has to be done in a little bit of rhythm. Better, <laughs> that was good. It keeps wrapping around my face. Luckily it is light. Yep. There you go. Nothing else. You're going to be nice and loose for your round of golf. So. Well, I did a half hour <laughs> of yoga before this morning too. Uh, so. he's, he's ready. He's ready to roll. Yeah, I am. And so you're, you're like you're like most golfers is that you actually don't understand how much your hands are actually trying yeah, to do something. Absolutely. And it's, so it's it's super sensitive. I mean, it kind of goes back to throwback. So clearly, to the, having video of you doing this and if you do it in slow mo is really going to be helpful. Yes. Yeah. You, so you need to check in with yourself. So the way to learn it is either a you got to learn to look back and watch, or just get in front of a mirror. And so a mirror a mirror helps you a lot because then you can actually kind of see what's happening. But most players don't really understand how they actually transmit energy in their body. And so this is a vehicle of finding sequencing and kind of an, in a, I'd say like in a, in a, in a outside in way, as opposed to thinking, okay, well, I got to move my hips. I got to move my shoulders. I got to do these things in a sequence. Actually, if I can start to learn what the golf club wants, the body tends to respond. Hey, you can win one of these on Golf Smarter. Listen to Golf Smarter episode 752. Hear Dan explain it fully and then go to golfsmarter.com and sign up so you can win one for yourself. If not, go to swingthepro.com and get your discount with the checkout code Golf Smarter. Dan, yes. thanks so much. You're very welcome, Fred. Enjoy your round today. Click on the link below to subscribe to our free weekly interviews on the Golf Smarter podcast at golfsmarter.com.